This is the ice flow off of Chicago. You can see there's plenty of ice on the lake today. And the whiter areas is where it's thicker, where it's piled up a little bit, and maybe it actually gathered a little bit of snow too. It's quite windy today, and that wind generally heads east. So it's pushing the ice off the shore of Chicago and over to Michigan. Might be able to make out in the distance that the color is darker. It's a darker blue. It's because there's less ice out there uh, as the water gets deeper and as the ice is moving over that area. That floating turret you see out there is one of the water intakes for Chicago. The Great Lakes are so large, they're actually classified as inland seas. And as ice forms along the edges in the more shallow areas, uh, that ice actually is usually broken up by wave action into chunks. And those chunks are blown across the lake uh, with the prevailing winds. So ice that forms along the shoreline of Chicago will generally be blown across the lake uh, and this is why you see the buildup of ice on the eastern shore, the Michigan side of Lake Michigan. Uh, and you get the phenomenon of the, the ice caves up in Leelanau. Um, and, and quite often along Chicago, you'll see these ice flows build up, and then a storm will come along, break up the ice, and move it across the lake.